Hello everybody, welcome back to your daily dose of dice build, or goodness, it is Circadian Dice. And speaking of, we are going to roll one to see what character we're going to play as today. One. Oh, okay, well that, honestly, that is probably for the best. It has been the longest since we've played as the cleric anyway. Uh, so as far as things to do... Oh, wait, okay, so yeah, I, I went and I literally one-started this to unlock the monk in that last episode. So we can consider this one as a zero, that was sort of the point. Uh... We have a really open book here across the board. Uh, let's go to... Let's go to the Forgotten Island. Uh, I think it has the ones where if you don't have any armor, they do extra damage, which that theoretically works really well against... Uh, or with the Cleric, who has a little bit more of a focus on shielding abilities anyways. Uh, basic attack with a... Cursing attack, uh, ba, 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 ba. maybe do something like that. I mean, we need to do. I think there's armored stuff here too. I can't quite remember to be honest. Uh, but white gem if you have full health at the end of the wave, remove all debuffs. That could be something to go for. Enemies always drop a chest if you defeat them with overkill damage. I mean, that also sounds really fun. Oh, man. Heart's to your first die. Key to your second die. Shield to your third. Let's go for that one. Uh, and then let's also, how about bring... You know what? Let's bring the Tome of Wisdom. Just a, a nice, simple one. And we'll go on into the Forgotten... Uh, what was it? Forgot? I was going to say the Forgotten Island. I don't remember, man. So, uh, shield symbols... It doesn't apply to melee attacks, right? It's literally just sh actually shield symbols, I would assume. Uh, that being said, this is a really good die right here. Good die. Uh, let's go for it. Let's get it on in here. What are we more likely to replace? The top or the bottom there? Probably the bottom. So we're getting rid of the hearts, but we're getting ourselves a lifesteal attack anyways. So I feel like, why not here? Oh boy. Off to a rough start. There, there we go. Okay. Uh, we'll get rid of that. We can shield bash to kill you if we so choose. We have so many gems. I feel like we might as well. We're going to just take one damage. Uh, let's get a little feisty with it. Let, you know what? Let's get a little feisty with it. I'll take some damage. We got holy light coming up. I feel like that's a decent enough situation. We can heal ourselves if we need to. Double all gold earned for the rest of this turn, or Death Nova. Whenever an enemy dies this turn, it deals two damage to each adjacent enemy. Uh, we would need to find a way to get either red gems or wild gems. Double all gold earned for the rest of this turn. I mean, we could. Here's why I'm going for it. We have the uh, we have the tools to. Okay, well, we'll just go for it. Not just done. We have the tools to to generate the money for it. Speaking of, let's go ahead. Sure, an attack and some money. All right. Maybe we wanna we want, might wanna go for one of these things here. A rerollable reroll activation gold is something I really like because I like obviously I like generating money, but it always feels it's a tough uh, choice to stop on a gold piece, you know? That being said, I feel like this is good enough. Sunface, Sunface shield and temporal gold. That could end up being two shields and four temporal gold, like 50% of the time. So that's pretty good. Uh, two basic attacks. Not only is it um, two basic attacks times two on a sundial, that means that we can split it up. Like, as long as it's not an armored enemy, two attacks that do two damage is probably better than a, an attack that does four. You know what I'm saying? Because we can do two to one and then two to another. I, Like, I'm being honest. I want something here. I'm trying to figure out what. I definitely want something, I just don't know what yet. Buh, 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 
I feel like going forward, this might be a good idea. That can be like our money tile, I guess. We have two turns left. We can. I think we can be a little greedy with it. I think we can be a little greedy with it. Okay, it's fine. Yes. I want to try and get money. Okay, here we go. That's actually pretty good. Getting uh, one of each gem with the kill. I feel like that works pretty well. Tithe. Absorb force is kind of cool. Whenever your shield blocks damage this turn, you gain that much health and increase your max health by one. I mean, if we needed it, it'd be, ve it'd be very cool. <laughs> but I'm good for now. Couldn't do this and then shield bash. That's the thing. It's, it's kind of expensive. Alright. I'm gonna... I want that man gone later. Oh, shoot. What would we buy? We can't... We actually can't buy anything. I'll happily take the one. Worst comes to worst, we can totally just use our holy light here. What would we buy? Would we purchase this? Would we purchase either of those? I don't know. Let's restock. What, what do we got here now? We would have four gold. We could buy this. Which I don't really care about. I, I kind of don't think so right now. I'm more interested in that. Gives us a little bit of money and a little bit of sustain. Alright. Okay. We can add a shield. What do we want to add? What do we want to add? We could add it to that. That's kind of fun. Just have a big chunker. We might be able to get like a crazy high roll. We And it's statistically more likely to happen if we do delete this one here. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. We do have to make sure that we, uh, we keep our blue gems though. In fact, I should probably try and find another one. That, I want that. I want that too. Oh, no. See, this isn't bad. It's just not exciting. It's not. It's not exciting. Block one there. There's another white gem. I mean, I just like I don't really know what to do with this stuff right now. We we need to generate more blues. And there we go. That should help. There's a blue a blue gem over there. I've never rolled this on it on during the day, have I? Okay, I'm doing this though. Because I want this and I want it bad. the last turn. We can't really play around too much more with that. See, that's, this is why I wanted I could have sworn there was Turtle Boys here. 60% chance. 80% chance. These guys have overpowered. This is just, this is just brutal. Attacks on die. Deal one extra damage to enemies with no shield. Gain one attack multiplier until the end of the turn whenever any enemy dies. Let's basically guarantee a capture there. This is still... We're taking good damage here. Like, ouch. Kind of damage. But we got Holy Light, and I've never freaking used it, so it sounds good to me right now. Four turns left. It's a little brutal. Oh, we got the attack multiplier, but of course... Get out of here. But of course! I wouldn't mind that. I also don't mind this. We could shield bash. 
Or we could just, like, wait. We could take one damage and just wait. I don't really care too much there. Alright, we're at three. We could... You know what? Sure. That's absolutely good enough, because then we can buy this. We can shrink this even more. Do I want to go for this, though? Get rid of, uh... I mean, sure. Alright, so it, we're pretty likely to get something that, uh, that absolutely slaps each turn. There's a one in three chance that we roll this. Alright. That's huge for us. Uh, that's a lot of money, too. Okay, but we can't buy anything. We should have done tithes, huh? We definitely should have done... I, I, I think I need to, to keep that in mind more. This, is, this sounds fun. Let's go for it. We have shield bash. Boy, howdy, we have a lot of shield bash. Bye-bye. Got some multiplier there. We have holy light still, too. There's just, there's just a lot going our way here. Very powerful. I don't actually have, like, a great build for taking down groups of a lot of enemies, though. Day for one more roll. Oh, that's not how... Okay. I misunderstood. I misunderstood. I thought it would stay day... I don't want to die. This is going to be brutal. I'm just going to say it's good enough. It's good enough. Huge blast there. All right, that's our last holy light. Uh, we don't really need the gems there. Might as well restock. Oh my god, that sounds fun. daytime. I wish it was daytime and I wish we got a blue gem. Are you serious, man? We need to do two damage. Okay. It's not great. We are missing out on some of the, the goods, the goods, the goods. Blood ritual. Gain red gems up to your max. Okay, I mean, what am I really looking for there? I guess I don't really know. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is a good roll, but it's also not. <laughs> it is also not at the same time. It's an investment. Oh, my God. What was I thinking? Huge. Okay, so here's the thing. Attack multiplier. Okay. I mean, that's about that's about as good as you, you really want to get right there. Uh, um, just add a bunch of fun stuff because we're about we're 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 about to be done here. Punk, punk. Bonk. Okay, that uh, that turned beautiful. Look at this damage. Look at this damage we could do. Theoretically, we would do like yeah, we'd do that. We'd double. This would do eight damage if we kill somebody. This would do. Uh, I guess it would be up to it's two, four damage would be up to twelve. Oh my god. Twelve, sixteen. Like that would start to get crazy. We're never gonna get to see it because we uh, we stopped popping off now because we are donezo with that one. We made that one uh, made that one look pretty easy to be real. There was like a part in the middle that was a little sketchy, but then we were totally fine. New relic unlocked: the soothing collar. Replace an attack on your second and fourth die with a trap. Captured enemies have plus one attack. Okay. Should we try to do that? What is this? Traps have the extra capture chance. Traps are replaced with a fang attack. When used, replace an attack. 
on your second and fourth with the trap. Yeah, it sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. We could go to the infested sewers. We could go... You know what? Let's hit the necromancer tower. Let's try it out. Okay, we can get another one, too. Um... Let's see here. We could get Fate Crafter's tool. I, I I feel like it's a good one where it's like if you have a clear idea with what you want already. But also Bottomless Pouch, I think, is um, is pretty darn good. Okay. Hey, that's actually, speaking of pretty good, this uh, Cursing Reaping attack with a shield on it is pretty darn optimal, <laughs> all things considered here. I don't know what to replace, though, because I don't... I guess we'll replace this, kind of thinking of consolidating those two into one more powerful one here. Fine. Fine. We can do better. I don't want to waste this shield bash just to block one damage. So them dying to the curse does not count. Gain one multiplier and reroll all dice. Use only before keeping dice. I... That sounds amazing? It is, it's non-fang attacks though. 50% chance to gain a blue gem when scoring red gems and vice versa. That seems like a pretty good thing to go for right this second when we got that there. We're going to take a smack in, but it's okay. We can generate holy light here if we really, if we really want. I'm kind of, I'm actually kind of cool with this. We, we go for that. We accept that because uh, we will actually be able to purchase this one down here, which looks really good. A double piercing attack and a shield uh, sounds awesome. I think that there is a shielded enemy coming up that sucks really bad, if I remember correctly. So two piercing and is defensive is a really, really, really nice treat there. What am I more likely to replace? Probably the single sword than the blue gem right now. Yes, we're going to take one. Come on, man. Thank you. Back that. And there we go. We're going to capture you. Perishes after 13 rerolls. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. When this dies, adjacent enemies get stunned. I mean... Uh, we need to do better than that. Oh, you smelly, smelly fool. This is, that was a bad roll. Bad roll for us. Uh, like, I want to get the white gem for holy light, of course. Cool. We take those. 20% chance to stun enemies that deal damage to you. Okay. It's not bad. I, I need to find a, an excuse to heal here, but we really need to get a, a level up. But, like, I feel like I can't... <laughs> find, uh... Ooh, can't find the time. Untargetable, slow, frenzy. Do I really want to take six damage? No. It's a little bit of wasted value. But we also get to... We get the five... I think he's five experience, if I remember from yesterday. We only take four damage now. We have an opportunity. All right. Uh... Add one cursing attack to a random face on the die. 
And it's the chance to... We got, we got Bloodlust. When did that happen? Increase your attack multiplier by an amount equal to the number of damaged enemies. I do like that a lot. I also like this... This, uh... This shield with the space deleter on it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and and go for that. I'm gonna delete an attack, two attacks even. A little bold, a little stupid. Maybe not though. You're more annoying to deal with later, so we'll get you now. We we really need to find that time to heal, or we are gonna be in the pits. Three turns left, two bucks. Fine. I don't love it. Okay, well, there we go. Yeah. Alright, this is this right here is exactly what I was talking about. This is the super frightening wave, but at least we have four attack damage here. Shield disease one, add one disease one to face die when dealing damage to you. It deals one damage to you when it's rolled. See, I want to kill this guy so that I could then um, use the key on the chest. But that, I, I don't want something that's gonna slowly spread throughout my entire, uh, all of my dice here. Okay, we, we live here. But we don't get the chest. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, there he is. There's the real, the real stinker of the bunch. You know him well. He's finally back to kick some tail. Not good enough. We're, we're gonna die, man. <laughs> oh, God. What a bad roll. Yeah, that didn't really work. That did not really work. You know what? Salty run back. Salty run back. Uh, let's let's figure this out here. Like, yes, I know we ended up taking a lot of damage. I guess I was trying to be a little greedy with the econ early here. Uh, however, what if we just did it again, though? Because if we could get this, then we can get Holy Light. We'll be able to heal up and be able to play a little bit more passive. It also comes with a shield on it, so it's just straight up better than this one. I don't know if I want to replace gold. Alright. I should replace the shield. Either way. I'll take two damage. Sure thing, man. Sure thing. Alright. We got the gems for Holy Light if we so choose. There's two turns left. We could get a coin and take one damage. That's a fine trade for now. We do need to get a shield or a sword. We do need to get a shield or a sword. Oh my god, we need to get a shield or two swords. Yeah, we were too greedy with it. Let's, uh, since the, I, I would not have done this if this was not the first turn there. All right. Here we go. We have to kill this guy. Slow, petrify. All right. We just, let's not mess. This is looking good, though. That, that is looking very good. I feel comfortable replacing the, the single coin with a re-rollable coin there. And I don't know about stalling anymore. I, I Like, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't know if we... Okay, well, that's just the same thing. I don't know if we're ga gaining a lot by doing it. Seems like it's been biting us in the butt. I know, like, some people said, you know, st stall more when there's only one enemy left. Try and get more money. Try and get more stuff like that. Uh, but, I don't know. Ooh, capture target non-boss enemy in a... Random empty die. If there are no empty dice, a random capture is replaced. Let's let's roll with that. If for no other reason, then it is very much like on brand with what we're going for here. I'll take ya. It's very much uh, kind of what we're trying to do here. Don't have the gems to shield bash. It's 
Let's get a reroll coin. Nope. All right. Reroll shield and another capture. I actually, I really like that. Okay, so the capture is going to turn into a fang. So we can we can replace an attack with it, and it's not that big of a deal. Because the fang is going to end up being... Come on, man. <laughs> come on. The fang is going to end up being better anyways. Fine. Come on now. There we go. That works fine. I'm trying to think of a, a world where we can roll something where we can kill the skeleton and the treasure chest. It's not super statistically likely. We would need a fang and an attack. You know what? All right, fine, 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 fine. When this dies, what did you get? More health, oh, lovely. Take the free shield there though, happily, happily. Okay, don't wanna overflow our gems. We're gonna take this damage anyways. Free coin. There we go, now we're talking. That's what I've been trying to get to happen, really. Two damage to to basically get a little bit more value in the future. I think we can do it. Okay, this I want. Uh, we are we'll level up if we buy it. It's like a, it's actually really good damage too. I wish we could put it on this die, of course. Well, but there's not actually a trap there, so never mind. And that's, like, very obviously going to be a reroll, right? Uh, harmless roaming mind warp. Moves a random symbol on your dice at the end of the turn. <laughs> and he has barrier. It's pretty annoying. Question mark, question mark, question mark effect when captured. Okay. Well, I got him. And I and I replaced him immediately. We're just getting all these captures here. Add one cursing attack to a random face on the die. I feel like that's just good enough to... Oh my god, triple piercing curse attack. Not to mention it is a chain, but like... We're probably not going to end up doing anything with that anyways. We don't need a holy light yet because we might want to use those gems for the mind guide. Ooh. Wow. We actually just block it all. Who would have thought? Free shield. Two damage. I want money. I'm a I'm a loot goblin. What can I say? Alright, there's a, there's a lot of stuff over here. Rerollable blue gem with a double melee attack that has stun. I, I actually really, really like that. Rerollable magic piercing attack could be good if we had more red gem generation. Uh, stun, sun face, base attack. Like it's, it could be good, but this goes through shield and, or does it? Yes, it does, because this is two. It goes through shield, and it stuns, and it gives us the re-rollable blue gem that we've kind of been wanting. I feel like that's a good way of, of going about this here. We don't need so much damage. It's okay. We can, we can meet in the middle there. Okay. We're on wave five... Thank you for the gem. Where do we get that wild gem from? 
When do we get that wild gem? If I could mines guide this, that would be a treat. Uh, but it is also an unrealistic goal. I just gonna kill him. Fearing attack. Actually, like I might be, I might be more okay with taking fear damage than regular damage. I don't anticipate we. Uh, I don't anticipate we die that way. You know what I'm saying? Again, uh, we have four turns left. I think we can stall out and get some extra value here. There's the one extra gem. We've almost got Mind's Guide. I would love, love to have Mind's Guide for next turn. So let's just stall that. Free money. Do I want to kill or not yet? I might want to stall. Attack multiplier and a trap with the plus 20% capture rate. I mean, it's basically an instant kill right now, you know? And it turns into a fang, so we can kind of like... I feel like we don't need more blue gems than this, but we also... It's just, that's fine, actually. All right, we're stalling. I know we could have killed there. Free money. All right, fine. Ah, yes, that's right. Good enough for me. It's gonna summon another fool. Another white gem. Not good enough. Three damage is, is nice, but like, this is nicer. Hey. Or does he still summon? He still summons. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. I did not anticipate that. Uh, this guy has to go. The attack multiplier does not help us with that. Uh oh. Thank you for that extra die. That's going to be really helpful. I think we might actually want to spend a little bit of money. Uh, let's spend a little bit of money. Okay. We have shield bash? Yes. So that's... One, two, three. So that's two damage, basically. That's five. Mine's guide. We could capture a skeleton. We need to make sure we do damage. Let's... I don't know why I thought we would do more. Because we totally will! Holy moly! Bang! That's three freaking curse, too. And we get to stun him for whatever it's worth. He dies now. Wow. That uh, That actually went really, really well. That went so much better than I had anticipated. Woo. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow, that actually worked. We unlocked the Demonologist. We will play as them in the next episode. Uh, I will do one more. I'll probably do like the Vampire Nest or something here. But let's see what the Demonologist does for next episode. Die face unlocked moon. Faces can now be moon faces. If you keep a moon face during the night permanently add a random symbol to it if you what okay i mean it's random but still it's kind of like a chaos it's like a chaos face that's pretty cool all classes can now learn demonology abilities preacher's pamphlet what's that gain one gold and two health at the end of a wave if you've captured an enemy in every active die so it's kind of like, it's kind of like Bottomless Pouch, but also we get health, but there's a stipulation, and but it does come with Preach to help meet that stipulation. 
I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so... We five-starred that. Feeling pretty decent about that. Feeling pretty decent indeed. Let's, uh, let's head back to the Vampire Nest. We'll, we'll get that one done, because I, I bet you we can do that one pretty quickly here. Uh, alright. Vampire Nest has... Life, lifesteal, guys. Uh, so stun or... Stun or big damage. Curse is, like, okay for that, too. Hmm. Hmm. Gain a white gem if you have full health. Yeah, I don't know what's great against this, so I'll, I'll bring in, I'll bring that in. I'll, I think I'll bring in the witch's knife too. Those actually seem pretty decent. So bringing the cleric to the vampire nest here today. Let's get it. All right. Uh. I mean, there's something to be said about this. Th this is like a very weird looking, like overwhelming kind of a die there, but actually it's not bad. Uh, we could, it opens up the possibility of going for red spells if they get presented to us in addition to helping us get more shield bashes while giving us two things to shield bash with. So I feel like it's actually pretty good, but I don't want to overwhelm my board with it, but I'll do it anyways. Because I'm just that kind of guy. So we could kill both. Or we could stall a little bit because they are not concerning to me. Sure. We have three turns left. Sure. I'm farming off you, my friends. Alright, if we don't roll damage. Alright, that... That is a pretty successful farming. That is how you stall right there. That is super nice. We're up to three white gems, a red gem, and two out of three blue gems, and we got a little bit of money out of the mix, too. Pretty good to me. I feel like we don't need more gems. I feel like that's a little too much. I feel like that's a little overkill. I don't hate... I don't hate this die, though. Like, putting it on here to so try and fish out a combo. That could be a massive shield bash. You know, like, if we roll this on the first turn and we roll that, like, that's that's a miracle roll situation. But that's what? Like, uh, this would be three to six. Six would be nine damage. Nine damage if we roll that and shield bash, which is pretty good. That spreads the curse, which will help, at the very least, keep this man down a little bit. Alright, I really, really like that, so let's go for it. Weaken the target's attack by one. That actually seems really powerful here. Capture target with... Attack, water, health, one, and random die. Ooh. Both of these are really good for here, because uh, reducing a target's attack by one is really like a, these are a lot of really low damage but life steal sustaining units so if we reduce their attack they're like we destroy their sustain as well so it's kind of hard to like you know you see what i'm saying like it's literally erased his attack is erased Good deal. So he's going to die this next turn anyway. So let's just get something that has a lot of gems. Or a lot of money, actually. I don't really care about getting a... Yeah, that's better for us. Sure. Works better, works better. All right. That guy's going to be around the longest. I'm fine with taking a little bit of damage. Okay. The wonderful thing about this uh, this whole wave situation... Ooh. How does that work? So how does this work if we shield bash? I'm going to... For science. It is six damage, right? It really is. Awesome. 
Speaking of awesome, this is a crazy, crazy good die. Rerollable, a rerollable wild gem, and the addition of a sword and a shield to a face. turns left Ooh. two turns left yes we'll do one damage here because we can stall a little bit last turn we do need to do a damage though. we do need to <laughs> we do need to all right all right looking good looking good double this double attacks on this die if fear is above five, we could, we could do that. No, we can't because we won't take it, the damage. Let's try. So we're going to, we need to roll no shields for a little while here. This is stupid. I just want to see it in action, you know? Okay, so now we can kill anything we want here. Oh, it has to be above. Okay, so actually, I don't want... Sh I still don't want shields. I can't... I can't not roll shields. There we go. That's perfect. Alright, double attacks on that die. If fear is above five, I mean, it, <laughs> I kind of like the idea of a re-rollable sword then. So it's like a re-rollable double. Okay. <gasps> oh, oh! I want to see this go though. We are we are definitely above five attack. So yeah, it's up to two. Okay, so it do it does work. We have that confirmed. And if we shield bash, it brings it up to six. Get out of my swamp. Do we go for this? I think we do. We just want damage. We want big number. All of these have, like, if we have shield bash on, then we, uh, we have the ability to deal damage with every die here. We're going to take no damage anyways. We don't need to weaken. We don't need the holy light. We're really swimming in it right now. Oh, my God. Boo! Speed running. I'm a, I'm a circadian dice speed runner. You do nothing. You do nothing. We don't have a whole lot left, so I feel like we can get away with that. I, it's beautiful. Beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, we have 10 gold. Oh, this would be fun. The potential for a six damage cursing stun attack if rolled on the first turn, uh, which is really fun. And we can check out, we could have checked out the moon face, but that's going to go away. Uh, I don't care about that die. This one is really overwhelming, but I think it's, I think it's okay, especially for six gold. The rest of that, eh, maybe something better going to show up. Nope. Aspect of speed. Add a reroll activation to a non-trap face. Yes, please. <laughs> I just don't I don't want to deal with you. <laughs> now you no longer have lifesteal. Goodbye. <laughs> 
Um, okay. I feel like we can do better. Yes, we can. Really do not want to end up getting petrified there. We could save our money. At this point, we might as well, too, right? Like, just save our money, go for a large blast. Okay. Large blast of points there. Oh, if only we could have uh, gotten our shield attack. I feel like at this point, we do just start to go for it, though, right? We are, we're just not getting any of our uh, wild gem or our blues, though. That is the stuff! Oh my god, I can't. I can't with it. It's so good. Alright. Boom. Unbelievably clean. So unbelievably clean. That was nothing. Alright. We got ourselves 14 stars today. Uh, well, technically... Technically 15, because let's we were pretending that the, the vampire nest thing was not a thing. Oh, so it highlights whoever has the highest score in that zone. We were one point off. Oh, we were one point off of beating the necromancer score in the vampire nest. But alas, alas, we did not. But tomorrow, I am incredibly excited. I don't want to, I don't want to get spoiled. Uh, tomorrow we will check out the final class, the Demonologist, and we will continue our trek all the way up to the, uh, to the ending here. Uh, and it's not even close to the ending, really. Like, we need five stars. In my heart, what I would like to do, if you guys, if you guys humor this series, I would not be opposed to trying to five star everything. Like, if this continues to get support through that point, I would love to five-star everything in the game. Uh, or at the very least, everything in normal mode. Because, boy, as soon as we beat all this, then apparently we just unlock all the same stuff but on hard mode, which is just even tougher. In addition to, like, a uh, p potentially endless roguelike kind of a mode. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what that's like. I don't know what I'm going to want to do. Because there's just there's so much left. There's so much left, and that's so exciting to feel like I... like. Each one of these relics genuinely changes the game so much. Each character changes the game so much. Each relic changes the game so much. Each zo like zone that you go needs to be tackled in such a completely different way that, like, and, and seeing you know maybe there's the the mutated enemies where they're gonna have more health or more attack or some unique modifier to them. There's just so much replayability. It's crazy. I it is criminal that you can play this game for free if you want. But boy, it's so good. Click the link at the top of the description to try the game for free or pay what you want before you play. Or you can try it for free if you like it. You pay, just pay whatever the heck you feel you, you, know, you can or you want to to help support the development of this wonderful game ahead of its release on Steam, uh, which will eventually come as far as I'm aware. Uh, so, dang, man. I love this game. I, and I keep, I keep liking it more. Like I, in my head, I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know if I am gonna want to go back to play the cleric after playing some of these cooler characters. But uh, just the the basic, the shield bash and holy light, like holy light less. So it's kind of like the more basic ability, uh, most basic ability kind of in the game. It's, it's sort of just like a heal, but even that, it has the maximum health increase, which gives it a little bit extra flair. Uh, but Playing the Cleric, you even get Shield Bash, which does completely change. It completely, fundamentally changes a very common uh, face on the die, you know? The Cleric is actually fun, because you get to play a little bit more defensive and aggressive at the same time. Probably a good character for me to play as, because I I like, I like to do damage, what can I say? Uh, and turning something that is defensive into damage is really nice, because, you know, it doesn't, it's not either or. It's sort of like the monk, but you pay resources, or monk, by that I mean melee attacks, uh, but you pay an extra resource and it's more powerful. Either way, that is going to do it for today. I could talk about this game for a long time, but I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. 
Check out the chat for Roguelikes and more every single day. This is Circadian Dice. Please like the video. Please comment on the video. And please share this with somebody who you think would enjoy this game. Because I think once they see it in action, they will start to understand it and why it is so good. So I think they'll figure it out immediately that this game is fantastic. So share it with your friends. Share it with anybody that you think might like it. Share it in any place that you think would uh, help garner some eyes on this game. Because it is fantastic. Use this series as a little bit of an intro point. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Rogue some more every single day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.